So we're going to look at the advanced options section. Now this is held in the design tab under advanced. Some of these options you will come in and use every time and others you may never need to use any of these features. So what I'm going to do is run through each of them and then you'll know whether it's something you need to implement or not. So just running from the top, first of all we have read right to left. So this reverses the publication for say Hebrew or Arabic publications. You can have the page flip and the search and all the other functions read from right to left. Next up we have the load control. So load control is great for larger publications. Now if you have say a catalog or a large, just a large brochure of say over 200 pages you might want to think about enabling this load control. What this does is it allows an, a set number of pages to load at any one time. So if you have that catalog of a thousand pages, if you didn't have this enabled, when a reader comes to view that catalog, it might be quite slow to load because each one of those 1000 pages has to load in the background. So if that's the case, come in here, check load control and set this figure to say 20 or 30 pages. What then happens is when a reader comes to view that large catalog, only 20 or 30 pages will load in one go at the opening page. Then as they move through the publication, say they jump to page 123, 20 to 30 pages around 123 will load as well. So it keeps the whole loading very fast for the end reader. You can then change the language of any of the hover over buttons or roll over text and menu items in the end reader interface. So if we just jump to a publication online, we see at the moment we're on English and if we hover over any of these items we get the English language for the buttons and the same if we were to jump to any website. Let me just show you here we have web or any of the buttons. So what we can do is jump back into the software and change that so we can change a language to any profiles that we've set. Now to set a profile what you must first do is come up here to options and translations. Then what we can do is say we're going to add Spanish. We can add a new profile, add Spanish, select this profile and then just go through changing the language. So the original text is on the left and here in the right hand column we would just double click and change to our Spanish language. Now you would need to do that for all of the options, so settings, company info, change this to your own company info, and all the features buttons. So everything in here, just come in and change this right hand column. Once you've done that and added this profile, you'll see that you can select that profile now from detect default language. So if we wanted to publish an English and a Spanish version, we would select first English, click build, that would build our English version. We could then select Spanish, build that version, give it another name and upload that to our website too. So you can have as many languages as you like there, but you must first add a profile in options, translations. Next up we have page numbering starts on. Now this allows your bottom navigation panel to know and match your page numbers. So if in the design of your publication, perhaps on the physical page two, you had a number one here, and you're not counting your front cover as page one, you will want to change this to page numbering starts on page two. Then when 3D issue interface calls it page two, it's your page two as well. It just keeps everything tidy and lining up with each other. Exit URL, you can type in here any website or web address that you want your end readers to go to when they hit that exit button. Next off you have these edit emails, so you have four options here for some of the features. So some of the features that require an email to be sent are the sharing, bookmarks, notes and comments. So what you do here is it gives you the opportunity to customize these emails that get sent out on your behalf from the publication. 
So if an end reader uh, decides to share the publication with their friend, their friend would get an email with a link to the publication. Now by default, that email would be set out like this. So it would bring in their name and then say the word sent you an article. Now it might not be an article. You might want to change this to newsletter or brochure or whatever your digital edition is. You can then change the merge fields that appear in the email and just change the language generally. So perhaps you might want to change it into Spanish or another language or just change the text slightly. So you can do that for the four functions that are mentioned here. Last off on this advanced section, you have a server. So this just needs to know which specific script the software should use to send these emails. So it just needs to know, is the server you're hosting these digital editions supported by ASP, PHP or ASPX? So you can just select which one there. So that's the advanced options that you might want to use on a regular basis or some that you might just need to use for certain publications.